Okay, so let's now proceed to the third measure of central tendency, which is the mode. So we have the formula m sub o, or the mode, is equal to lmo plus c times the quantity of fmo minus f1 over 2 fmo minus f1 minus f2. So we have here the lower boundary of the modal class, the class size, the frequency of the modal class, the frequency of the class one step lower than the modal class. This F2 here is the frequency of the class one step higher than the modal class. So, once again, it's very important for us to be able to identify which is the modal class. So, we will be able to get the correct data. Okay? So, here... Uh, we have another formula for finding the modal or the mode. So, MO is equal to LMO plus C times D1 over D1 plus D2, where D1 refers to the difference between FMO and F1, while D2 refers to FMO minus F2. Okay, so let's now proceed with our first example. Consider the ages of 100 senior citizens of a certain barangay. Find the mode okay, of the data. Moreover, highlight and label the modal class F sub 1, F sub 2, its lower boundary, and the frequency. So here, before we solve for the mode, let us complete first the third column. So again, since there the difference between this number of 62 and 63 is only 1, then we will simply add 0.5 to the upper limits here and subtract 0.5 to the lower limits. So our class boundary would be, okay, the first class boundary would be 59.5 and the upper boundary would be 62.5. So, we copy the upper boundary, okay, so now we have 65.5, so 65.5, and then we have 68.5, 68.5 uh, to 71.5, 71.5 to 74.5, 74.5 to 77.5, 77.5 to 80.5, then we have 80.5 to 83.5, 83.5 to 83.5, okay, 86.5. 86.5 to 89.5 and then lastly we have 89.5 to 92.5 so having completed the table we're now going to find the modal class so what is the modal class okay so the modal class is the class interval which has the highest frequency so it's very easy to spot the modal class in this case we have 25 as the highest frequency therefore the class interval containing the highest frequency is what we call our modal class okay that's the modal class now after identifying the modal class we'll now identify the frequencies which are uh, asked in our formula. So our 25 here is the frequency of the modal class. And then we have our F1 is this, which is higher, uh, I mean lower than the median class. And our F sub 2 is this one, the frequency which is higher than the uh, modal class. And then this is the lower boundary of our modal class. So since our data is now complete, we will now proceed with the formula. Okay. But first, we also need to get our class size. So 90 minus 87, our class size is equal to 3. Now, 
it would be easier if we are going to identify or write down here the different values uh, of the data which are needed in the formula. So the lower limit of the model class is 74.5. The frequency of the model class is 25. Our F sub 1 is 5. And our F sub 2 is 8 while our c is equal to 3. And then using the formula for the mode, we have, okay, so LMO plus c times, so we have now FMO minus F1 all over 2 times FMO minus F1 minus F2, okay? So the lower limit, we simply substitute the values here, 74.5 plus C of 3 times, we have our FMO is, okay, frequency of the modal class is 25 minus our F sub 1 is 5. So here we have 2 times 25 minus our F1 of 5 and then F2 of Eight. So using our calculator, we now have 74.5 plus 3 times, okay, so here we have 20 divided by 2 times 25 is 50, 50 minus 5 minus 8 is equal to 37, so we have this. Now, this will be equal to 76.1 or our mode is equal to 76, okay?